Okay, we are exporting 3.4 kilowatts because the hot water is heated and the battery is 100%. Let's try and see what happens. Let's see. It says it's got surplus. Come on, be good. Start being good. Good constant surplus. That's the, I think that's the biggest surplus I've seen since install. Why are we February the 19th? Let's see it. Wait for EV. CD check and charging. Let's see, this should now start to off zero out okay so yeah it is going to be like last time nicking something from the battery but hopefully it should that appears to be doing what it's told now so it's not just over it's just combining battery output and solar but that's all good we've got plenty of solar at the moment of course if I left it until sundown it would start just eating it from the battery. So I just need to unplug it before it starts getting dark. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That is pumping out a lot of power, which I am harvesting. So that is good. The other thing to note is that the iBoost seems to be behaving well today. It's decided that it's gonna do what it's supposed to do at the moment and it has been for several hours i've been logging in sort of regularly and it seems to be doing what it should be doing and the hot water has heated up as far as i know so that's 300 liter tank i think it is something like that and that seems to have done what it's supposed to be doing so that's reached temperature it's charged the battery and it's just exporting to the grid now it's charging the car so looking good I was trying to get a picture of the plants. Something wonderful has happened. So it's now not taken from the battery. So over the last, however long it is, I've looked at it, about half an hour, approximately. It's actually not taken from the battery now. It's sort of met an equilibrium, shall we say. And now it's just charging purely from the sun and it's overages, basically. As you can see there, nine hours and 20 minutes left because it's only taking surplus. So that's really good. It's not drawing it from the battery. Um, battery percentage went down to 96%, at uh, which point it's just stopped, thankfully, taking it from, from the battery. So it has worked out. It kind of shows that the system does play up because at the moment to today it's worked perfectly so the discussion about ct clamps being in the wrong place etc etc it's working it's working exactly how it should be today first time i've seen that nothing's been changed no hardware's been moved at all it's just been playing up um the i boost of course it seems to vary from the signal um, from the sender unit and it's I think it's too far away for it really but today it just so happens that it's working absolutely fine I think if that was swapped out for an eddy then I would have no issues at all I think um, but today this system has been working exactly like it should do with no stresses at all I'm not home I've, the batteries are charged up themselves to 100% it's then switched to hot water heating it's heated to hot water and then it's just exported to the grid I've got back I've then plugged my car in, set it up on Eco Plus Leaf Leaf, or Plus Plus as I call it. It's then started charging off the XX Solar as well as battery. And then over the next 30 approximately minutes, it's then found an equilibrium and just doing it off surplus. And it's been charging off surplus, although slower, um, since then. So it's working exactly as it should do. That's exactly what I expect to see. So it's not stealing it from the battery at all. It's going to run down to however low it will go and then it'll stop once it gets dark and it won't make it from the battery and it's still sit there waiting for surplus so there you go that's a very very quick update the wind's starting to pick up now but that's a quick update 
and it's actually the first time I've got something completely positive to say. No issues at all, performing really well. Let's just see how that develops though, because it does seem a bit random. Today happened to be absolutely fine, everything works swimmingly, so there we are. I'll see you guys on the next one. Just before I go, <laughs> thought I'd gone for a second. I had a thought. The reason it reached an equilibrium is because, and it hasn't done this before, it's the first time it's done it, like I said, um, but the battery dropped off to 96%, and at some point, the zappy has picked up that the house is pulling in power and has then throttled it down. So it hasn't per se stopped drawing it from the battery. It has in that instant, and there's not going to be enough light at the moment. Um, we're going to have ample time to actually test this. What's going to happen if the sun lasted long enough, and it's not going to, I don't think, is when it gets to, is it about 97% again now? When it gets to 100%, it's going to stop pulling power from solar. I think it will see again. I think it'll start pulling back from the battery again. That's a guess. I think what it's going to do is charge it back to 100%, then see that the house is only drawing 400 watts, whatever, 500 watts. There's 2,000 watts, 3,000 watts of solar. It's then going to start pulling the 3,000 plus two, three from the battery, I think. That's just a thought. So I think it's only because the battery has dropped, it's seen a draw, has then been able to work out the overage or what is just purely solar rather than just the battery, it's seeing it as excess. It's not, it's not seeing the battery as excess per se. It's very hard to explain it. When it gets to 100%, it's gonna start drawing back from that battery, I reckon. So it'll end in a bit of a cycle going on where it goes, which is not too bad to be fair, it goes from 100% down to about 96 then starts purely going from excess solar and then the batch because the battery start pulling to charge itself up off the solar it'll get back to 100 stop drawing that and then this will kick back in again the zappy will and start pulling that five six kilowatt whatever therefore taking the battery back down to 96 percent then it starts pulling to charge the battery back up then it recognizes that there's no excess or there's a minimal excess and reduces the car charge and you have that cycle going on and on and on i reckon we shall see. It's a diary for that exact reason. But I reckon once I get long enough days, I'll see that happening. I think it truly is goodbye now. Goodbye.